Okay. Oh, that makes sense. I can't get you out of my head. Should we kickstart this vlog? Let's kickstart this vlog. We love you all so much. Welcome to a day at home with the Armfield Haggard. Not all at home though, because I'm going to Lizzo. Yeah, we forgot that. Lizzo! I'm so excited. And I sacrificed my Lizzo ticket because we've been away. Rio, I feel like he needs like consistency and he's been waiting. I just wanted to give it to him, so I was like, Ow! Oh, you just touched the bump on my head! Oh no, tell him what happened. We've got to tell him about that too. We've got so much to tell you. So we had the most epic time in Ibiza. That was fun. The night we met, I knew I needed you so. And if I had the chance, I'd never let you go. Ooh, point those toes. Rio is literally incredible. Animal noises. Rio, what noise does a horse make? Yeah! <laughs> we got home from the most unbelievable two weeks in Ibiza. We just had so much fun. And we loved having Dolly there. I had one crazy night out. Francis didn't drink, didn't do anything. He went to the gym, he had a personal trainer. He went to the gym, he was healthy, he ate healthy. Like, I'm he a changed like, man. I used to come back from Ibiza like on the floor. And he, but then he came back from Ibiza and he was on the floor. I was on the floor. Guys, I'm going to go deep now. I'm going to talk about my problems. I suffer from something called vasovagal syncope. I'm going to put it on here. Vasovagal syncope. Anyway, so it means that I pass out sometimes. I've been doing it since a child and I pass out in situations usually driven by fear. So panic when I've been really ill or if I've fallen over or if I panic about something. There wasn't really a panic thing. So maybe I'm, I don't know what happened. But I heard Rio crying and I went got up to check on him and I stood by the door because he does, does know what to do and how to set himself. And she was crying that much. I went in and laid, laid him down again which I shouldn't do. Um, and then I came out and I was stood here and I just felt like this like sick feeling in my stomach and this rush and I know the feeling and what, what's going to happen. So what I should have done is lie down on the floor and just, just kind of yes. allow it. accept it to happen, which I didn't do. Instead, you always run. Instead, I felt like I needed to run away. I don't know, I ran in here and I blacked out at this moment. Then I don't really know what happened. I can tell you what happened. Well, I know. I've got a gouge on my shoulder. So, so I hit, must have hit my shoulder on here. We, let, we have these beautiful photo frames that Francis' mum made. So then he put his shoulder on here, his mouth... It looks like he You went, oh my God, I'm gonna pass out. You went, shoulder hit here first, your lips hit here, and then your head hit here. Oh. And then you passed out here. Oh, that makes sense. I hit my head and I've got a bump on my head, so. Anyway, it was a bit worrying because when I pass out, it's fine. If I'm in a safe environment, it's fine, but I really did hit my head and it was dramatic. So it wasn't ideal. And then Rio was crying. Stuart was like, I'm going to call 999. That sets off immediate crazy panic for me. If you have the same thing as me, I basically have health anxiety. So I get fearful of like doctors, ambulances, anything like that. When I know I'm okay, I'm fine, but it's the thought of it. So when Stuart was like, right, I'm gonna have to call an ambulance because you hit your head, that sent me into this spiral. So I begged him not to, and he probably should have. And then the next day I felt really groggy and tired. I'd had lack of sleep as well. So I normally feel a bit hit by a bus after one of these kind of fainting episodes. And I ended up, anyway, didn't call ambulance. I called the doctor in the morning. Uh, then it's not an emergency, I suppose. So eventually he called 111 in that day and because I had a head injury, they wanted an ambulance to come out to me and they did come out eventually. So they came out that evening and they were amazing. They checked my heart, they checked my head and they could see that it, it wasn't, um, I didn't have any signs that I had any concussion, but they wanted me to go get checked out. Um, so they basically said, we can either take you in now or you can go call your GP and ask for a scan tomorrow. So I was like, I'll take tomorrow. <laughs> Just again, I'm like, avoid, 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 avoid. Um, and then the next day I called my GP and were like, oh no, they won't give you a scan. You have to see the GP, you know, whatever. So I tried to avoid it. And then Stuart woke up and was like, 
you are going to hospital now. And I'm so glad he did that because I then went to a &E on my own because I used to have to look after Rio and I was so proud of myself because I overcame the whole situation. I sat there, got seen by the nurse. The thing what I've learned about me is, not to go too deep on this video, but I have always held my emotions in and that brings a sort of like tightness. And I think the panic comes because I'm trying to hold it in or I'm trying to escape from the situation. So what I've been learning through therapy is communicate with people. Don't be ashamed that this is part of you. This is something you do. Communicate that you have these anxieties. And, and when you communicate, you immediately put yourself more at ease and you know, you allow people to know. So if something does happen, they're more prepared. So that's what I did. I said, this is why I've got health anxiety and the nurses were amazing, the doctors were amazing. They checked me over and basically they are not concerned there's any sign of concussion. Today, I already started to feel much, so much better yesterday. Also, I felt so much better that I achieved going through that situation and not passing out. So I was really proud of myself. Um, I am gonna go get a neurology checkup just because it's been a while since I've had a checkup. I don't have epilepsy. They did check for that when I was a child. So just to get a general checkup. And now that I know I achieved doing the hospital on my own yesterday, I know that I'm gonna be fine doing that again. So that was the drama that was <laughs> yesterday. <laughs> um, but it was a moment and things happen to your life and they make you stronger. So anyway, enough about me. But you know what, actually, if you are watching this video and you have this vasovagal syncope, I would actually love to hear from you because I, growing up, felt so embarrassed. I felt like I was the only person in the world that did this. I never knew anyone else that did. I didn't even know what it was called as well, so I never could name it. It just was this thing that I thought was weird and abnormal and actually is so normal. Um, and it happens to loads of people too, so reach out to me because I'd love to hear from you. Let's step away from the crime scene. What is going on in here? Choo -choo. What noise does the dog make? <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Hello. Go on, Audrey, <laughs> bye, bye. Rio has a really good set schedule that really works for him and when we don't stick to it, we notice a difference. Five hours after he wakes up, he goes to sleep for his nap. So I'm gonna take him out for a, a class because otherwise he gets tired and bored. And I can tell right now he needs, he needs to go out. He needs to get out. Are you sure you're, are you sure you're well enough? I'm well enough. Do you need to get out because you're like this? Get me out! Is he classed as a toddler? I feel like he's a toddler. What do you do? He's like into everything. Is he toddling? Show me an impression of a toddler. <laughs> that is basically you. Anyway, we're gonna get dressed and then we're gonna go to class. Catch you later. <laughs> so I can tell you're all gagging to know what I had for breakfast. So this morning I'm gonna go for a shake because I wanna feel healthy and revived for Lizzo this evening. So, what do I put in my shake? First of all, a handful of spinach, then some berries. So then I put some lemon in. So we've got so far spinach, berries, and then squeeze half a lemon. And you're gonna think, oh my God, that's disgusting. But it's absolutely delicious. Then, one teaspoon of almond butter. One teaspoon of honey. Lemon and honey just was so delicious. Now I'm gonna put a vanilla protein shake in. One, two, and a gut supplement. And you're ready, literally. This is gonna taste divine. Oh, you just can't bear being off the camera, can you? Say hello. Hello. It does taste good, but I feel like I put too much peanut butter in. So, let's get ready for the day. We are very excited. Eek! We are going to Lizzo tonight. So my friend Kat has come around, and so I'm gonna do a quick get ready with me. So I was thinking about wearing this glittery shirt. Eek! But over the top, wearing, because this is basically, Kat says she's wearing glitter, so I was like, right, okay, I've got to wear glitter. But these are the shoes. I mean, these are, the my most favorite shoes ever like they are 
If they're not Lizzo shoes, I don't know what is. I just love them so much. I don't know. There you go. This looks a little bit like High School the Musical, doesn't it? I love this shirt. I mean, it is glitter central. So after a long, hard debate, it's actually been a really hard decision. Obviously wearing these, but I thought if I wear this jacket over the top, could this work? So I've got glitter here, glitter here. Do I look cool or do I look like, I'm not sure. It's so hard, what do you wear to a concert? I haven't been to a concert for absolutely ages. So this is what I've decided on. It is the silver jacket, the silver shirt, shoes, black trousers. We've got the little bit of the um, gold vest that comes through. I'm not sure how much detail that is. Urban fudge in my hair. Sprayed myself with our new Chanel. So I smell divine. If you could smell through the camera, you'd be like, oh my God, darling, you smell incredible. So I've completely changed the whole look because I was just like, I just didn't feel right in the glitter. So I've changed it to green jumper, orange trousers, still got the glitter shoes on. These glitter shoes, obviously. Just hope it's not too dirty in there. But this is, this is the new look. Do you prefer it? Fingers crossed you do, because this is what I'm going in. So let's talk about all the reasons why I love Lizzo and why I'm going tonight to support her and to enjoy obviously her music. And the reason is, for me, I just love people that can fully express themselves. She owns who she is, she's a bigger girl, and I just love that she fully embraces that side of her as well. Like she's not afraid of being like, this is who I am, speaking about it in her music. And I think one of the things that makes me most sad is when other people don't fully live in their power because they're worried about what other people think about them. So I really love that she is a person that really is able just to know her worth, understand who she is, and is, has the ability to lift people up positively, no matter who they are. So those are all the reasons why I love Lizzo. That's why we're going tonight. So I hope I'm not gonna be too hot in my outfit. I feel hot already. But I love it, it's green, it's wild, it's bright, and that's the kind of person I am. So I'm gonna go now. I love you all so much. Enjoy Lizzo, have fun. So jealous. See you when you get back. Oh, they're going to Lizzo. So the reason that I'm not going is because basically with all the change that we've been doing, traveling with Rio, I just didn't want to just lump in with a babysitter and yeah, I just wanted him to have consistency because it has been waking up a little bit more in the night, which is all down to the consistency of the day. So bye, enjoy Lizzo. I'm very jealous, but I'm also happy to have some time with him and myself because I enjoy time to myself. Maybe this vlog is then cut in two. Some of you will go with Stuart and some of you will stay with me. Which one are you gonna do? Go with Stuart, it's gonna be way more fun. Time to wake him up. Oh. Hi guys, just wanted to say I had a lovely two hour nap. Although loneliness has always been a friend of mine, I'm leaving my life in your hands. People say I'm crazy and that I am lying, risking it all at a glance. How you got me blind is still a mystery, I can't get you out of my head. Basically, we've got a friend staying tonight in our guest room and right now it's like a laundry dumping ground. So I thought me and Rio could go make the bed and sort the washing out. Yeah, dad, dad, dad. The only problem is Rio loves undoing tidy washing. So I've got to encourage him not to touch the, the, the washing. I think that's done. Bed made. Lovely. Guys, this is my dilemma. So all this washing was in that room. <laughs> and I booed it here for now. And the reason is because I can't walk it there because we don't have a stair gate yet. So, and Rio can't be trusted. So basically I've moved it here until he goes to sleep and then I'll put it away because 
We basically need a stair gate. I'm sure loads of you are going to comment and go, that's lethal, it's dangerous. Yes, but this is a really hard stair gate, like stairs to make it work because of, we're managing it right now, just closing doors. But yes, that's something we do need to get. <laughs> oh, let's shoot. Okay, you're good to go. Here we are in our matching tracksuit, Mickey Mouse, Puma with my blonde hair. So change of plan, I'm running late, so we're gonna go to the park, take Dolly with us, get this boy running outside, he loves the outside. Should we go? Let's go! Okay, you fine down the step. Good boy, yes. Let's go jump in muddy puddles. <laughs> yes Dolly, you're coming too. Every parent's car is just full of stuff. Here you go. Ugh. In you pop. He does this new thing where he does back bends when he gets in the car. It's like, oh, so it's impossible to lock him in. Uh, uh. Here you go in your seat. Everyone happy? Everyone ready? Let's go to the park. This way. <laughs> Hi guys, I've got Mother's Day cards. One for my mum, one for Stuart's mum. And I was thinking, Ria, you're never going to buy a Mother's Day card. <laughs> you can buy grandma cards. But because you've got two dads hung. I know, you're never going to buy a Mother's Day card, but it's fine. I was actually chatting to my therapist about this today because I was like, it has nothing to do with like gender or sex like you're being a parent or whatever it's nothing to it's all about who, who like who you are as a person like that's what makes you a good parent I'm so sorry this is a bit of a tangent but sometimes we get comments like oh a, a child needs a mother and father no 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 a child needs parents that are consistent loving kind with great morals always there to be a good parent you need to be all of those things and that's what makes a good parent not whether they are um, a male or a female they. <laughs> and I know that we've got, we're great parents, you had a lovely time. So anyway, we've got Mother's Day cards, we were never going to buy one of any of those. Then we bought some books for him this evening. I bought Where's My Mr. Puffin and this Let's Go Home Baby Tiger. Should we read them for bed? Yeah. We're going to make some dinner, have dinner. This is a simple life. When you cut to Stuart in a minute, you're gonna be like, oh my God, he's having so much fun. And we're here, making dinner, reading books. <laughs> few hours later so as soon as Rio goes to bed that is usually my time so it's when I like edit videos for our um, TikTok and Instagram and also then I tidy up <laughs> the kitchen is done <laughs> and I was on such a roll today I kind of forgot to film but a day at home with us today but I thought to end the vlog you could go and enjoy Stuart's evening with Lizzo because I'm sure he's having a good time. I'm a little bit jealous but I know that it was the best thing for me to stay here with Rio tonight because if he, if someone else put him to bed I think you just would. He was a little bit all over the place today anyway but this sleeping is so hard sometimes as a parent because you just want them to <laughs> you just want them to sleep um, but we have such a busy lifestyle as well so like topic and changing it's hard for him so I anyway, know that's why I decided to stay home but yeah as we finish this vlog enjoy some time with Stuart watching Lizzo because I'm sure they have the best time ever. Yeah.